Hey, and welcome back to another thrilling episode of Wild Mythology, the channel where we explore everything having to do with myths, legends, and folklore. I welcome you to the channel with bread and salt as a symbol of our shared quest for knowledge and adventure. Today marks the beginning of an incredible series where we'll explore the mythology and astrology of each zodiac constellation. And for our premiere episode, we'll be delving into the current ruler of the celestial calendar the powerful and awe-inspiring constellation of Tauros, the Bull of the Stars. Get ready to learn how to find Tauros in the night sky, the personality traits of a Tauros according to astrology, and the myths and legends connected to the Celestial Bull right here on Wild Mythology. Tauros, meaning bull in Latin, is one of the oldest constellations known to humanity, with a rich history that spans cultures and civilizations. One possible theory of how old Tauros is comes from the Lascaux Caves, located in southwestern France, which are famous for their prehistoric cave paintings that date back to 15,000 BC. One painting is thought to depict Tauros accompanied with two neighboring constellations, which are Orion and the Pleiades. However, it's important to note that the connection between Tauros and the Lascaux Caves is largely speculative and based on interpretation rather than concrete evidence. While the connection to the caves is speculative, Tauros was an important constellation to the Mesopotamians, especially the Babylonians, where Tauros was known as the Bull of Heaven. For the Mesopotamians and the cultures that came after them, Tauros also marked the beginning of the March-Spring Equinox. Now, Taurus is located in the northern celestial hemisphere and is very easy to see during the nights of January. If you're interested in finding the celestial bull in the night sky, the best way is to first find Orion's belt. Taurus is northeast of Orion, so once you find the belt, follow it upwards till you hit a bright red star called Aldebaran, which represents the eye of Taurus. The constellation is then easily recognizable due to the V-shaped cluster of stars that forms the bull's head. As for the reason why the constellation only shows half of a bull, well that has to do with a myth that we will later get to in the video. Now, when it comes to astrology, Taurus is the second astrological sign in the zodiac, representing those born between April 20th and May 20th. Positioned in between Aries and Gemini, Taurus is intimately connected to the element of Earth and represented by the mighty bull, a symbol that embodies the characteristics of strength, stability, and persistence. Those born under the sign of Tauros are said to be patient, reliable, and determined. They are often hardworking and methodical, and have a keen sense of practicality. However, they can also be stubborn and resistant to change, and may struggle with taking risks or trying new things. In astrology, Tauros is ruled by the planet Venus, which is associated with love, beauty, and pleasure. This influence is reflected in the signs of appreciation for material comforts, such as luxury items, fine food, and beautiful surroundings. The Tauroses are said to have a love for all things beautiful and may be drawn to careers in the arts or fashion industries. Tauroses are also known for their loyalty and devotion in relationships. They are committed partners and value stability and security in their romantic connections. However, they can also be possessive or jealous and may struggle with letting go of past hurts or resentments. In terms of compatibility, Tauros is said to be the most compatible with other earth signs such as Virgo and Capricorn, as well as water signs like Cancer and Pisces. However, they may struggle in relationships with fire signs such as Aries and Leo which can clash with their more practical and reserved nature. That now brings us to mythology. Tauros isn't just a constellation. It's steeped in mythical lore from Mesopotamia and Greek legends, and even revered by the Celtic Druids and the Inuits who swapped the bull for a ferocious polar bear. But it's not just ancient cultures that held Tauros in high regard. In Buddhism, it's believed that Gautama Buddha was born under the full moon of the celestial sign. Now, in Mesopotamian mythology, Tauros is connected with the Bull of Heaven, who is featured prominently in the Epic of Gilgamesh. The story goes that when Ishtar, the goddess of love and war, was romantically rejected by Gilgamesh, she demanded that her father Anu give her the Bull of Heaven so she could release it upon Gilgamesh. Despite his initial refusal, Anu eventually gives in to her demands. 
However, the arrival of the bull causes chaos and destruction, as its first and second breaths create huge chasms in the earth and kill 300 men. Fearing for his people, Gilgamesh and his companion Enkidu engage in a fierce battle against the bull of heaven. After a prolonged clash at the end of the battle, Enkidu circles the bull and holds its tail, immobilizing the beast and allowing Gilgamesh to slay it. The death of the heavenly bull angers Ishtar, who insults Gilgamesh, leading Enkidu to rip off the bull's lower half and throw it at the goddess. Unfortunately, the demise of the heavenly bull leads the gods to punish Enkidu with death. After the death of Enkidu, the gods took the upper half of the bull and immortalized it into the sky as the constellation Tauros. In Greek mythology, Tauros is associated with several tales. One of the most famous involves Io, a mortal woman who caught the eyes of Zeus, the king of the gods. When Zeus's wife Hera discovered their affair, Zeus transformed Io into a white heifer to conceal her identity. However, Hera was not fooled and took Io captive. Io would spend many years in the form of a heifer, until Zeus finally transformed her back into a human. Despite this, Io's transformation into a heifer remained an enduring symbol of Tauros in Greek mythology. In another fascinating Greek myth, Tauros was associated with Zeus, who transformed himself into a white bull to seduce Europa, who interestingly enough was the great-great-granddaughter of Io and Zeus. As Europa found the transformed Zeus grazing alongside her father's herd of bulls, she became entranced with Zeus's animal form and got on his back. Zeus then carried Europa across the sea to the island of Crete. It was on Crete where Zeus revealed himself to Europa, taking his true form. There, Zeus impregnated Europa with three children and made her the first queen of Crete, gifting her with many magical items. Eventually, Zeus would recreate the shape of the white bull in the stars as the constellation Tauros. The final myth associated with Tauros is the gripping tail of the Cretan bull, the father of the terrifying Minotaur. King Minos, son of Europa and Zeus, incurred the wrath of Poseidon by failing to sacrifice a beautiful white bull. As punishment, Poseidon had Aphrodite curse Minos' wife to mate with the bull, an act that resulted in the birth of the monstrous Minotaur. After the birth of the Minotaur, Poseidon cursed the white bull to rampage and wreak havoc through Crete. Eventually, the powerful Hercules would capture the rampaging Cretan bull, but it would soon after be released and killed by the brave hero Theseus. As a tribute to its strength and significance, the Cretan bull was then raised to the stars after Theseus sacrificed it to Zeus. In conclusion, the Tauros constellation has a rich history and mythology dating back to ancient times. Its association with the bull is deeply ingrained in many cultures, representing strength, power, and perseverance. And that's it for today, fellow myth lovers. Join us next week as we dive into Leo, the next constellation in our Celestial Star series. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe and like buttons to stay up to date on all our upcoming videos. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on Wild Mythology.